Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a collective reading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a message for you for our overall theme. Or a card, I should say, for our overall theme. Um, what message I got for you before I started is um, bossing up. Okay, so um, as a collective, it's going to vary for each person. Um, but I see you guys trying to be... Um, Trying to figure out how you want to level up, okay? Oh, now I get it, okay. Um, I just did a Libra's reading. It was heavy energy and, like, passion and, like, taking action and self-love and confidence. And I couldn't figure out where the energy was coming from because it, it seemed outside of Libra, but they were tapping into it. Um, but it's a Leo full moon because I couldn't think where the fire energy is coming from. I know Aquarius is opposite and next season is Pisces, but we're pretty far away and something could be happening in Leo season and this could be why I'm mentioning it or Leos could be watching this or it, it depends. Okay, take out resonates for you, but there is a Leo full moon, I believe on the 29th or the 28th. I might be off with my days, y'all. So, or my dates, I should say. So, um, definitely do your own research and see what the correct date is, but that could be the energy that I'm tapping into, okay? I haven't done much research on it on my own, but that could be what the energy is surrounding uh, that is bossing up or leveling up, okay? I kind of get like the five of wands energy from that card, okay? But this could cause some conflict in your life, okay? It could be internal conflict or it could be um, external. It depends, okay? Um, and when we think of conflict, we always think of such a bad thing, but it can be very transformative, okay? Meaning it can, like, uh, I'm here and burn things down and then able to clear them away. So, I've seen, like, a post the other day, and this is what it makes me think of. And um, it said something about, what did it say, y'all? I'm sorry. I'm so absent-minded. Um... Let me just pull the card, y'all. If it comes back to me, I'll say it. One card, please. It was about thinking that you lost everything, but understanding eventually or in that moment that it was a chance for you to start over. Okay. Um, the same thing is happening in Libra's reading with the throat chakra. So you could be expressing something or clearing something from your energy, from your throat, or that may be a chakra you need to work on or um, do some type of meditation in that, okay? Um, somebody could be wanting to clear the air with you or have a conversation with you, I'm hearing, okay? There's a need for you to be very disciplined at this time. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. I think Libra got the same card. Okay, it could be something. You could be a Libra watching this. You could be connecting with the Libra. Something could have happened in Libra season or wheel. Okay, or, or Libra full moon. Okay, I'm getting so many messages, y'all. At the bottom of the deck, we have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Okay, so more holistic, um, similar message. Um... Some of you guys could be wanting to be more holistic in your approach or your approach to healing or whatever your next cycle in order to level up it's more holistic okay um involving something to do more with spirituality as a whole i don't know how that's going to resonate with everybody but it'll be different for everyone um envy i am the same as everybody but with different challenges okay so stepping into your power um, learning to love you. Okay, I'm here staying in your own lane. Okay, whatever that means. This could be in regards to your relationships. This could be in regards to what you want for yourself. That's going to help you be more disciplined purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay, self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Mm, I want to pull a lover's oracle card, okay? And that's that Leo energy that we were talking about earlier, okay? So, somebody could be re releasing pride to go towards you, um, or you could be doing that to go towards somebody else. It's kind of like an ego death, okay? 
I get something to do about Aries too as well. I'm not sure how that applies, but when you pass from the world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay, you got a lot. Twin flames, your passion ignites. nice. Okay, so you could definitely, what I mentioned earlier, you could be uh, having a reunion or reuniting with someone, okay? Um, a lot of people could be coming together. Um, it could be in Lib before Libra season. It could be during Leo season. Um, this could happen during Aquarius season or Aries season as well, too, okay? Or it could be the start of it, okay? And then something could be taking action in those uh, Leo and Libra seasons, okay? Um, time. You are trying to argue with time, okay? Um, yeah. Time is a big thing. That's why I think I mention it time a lot. Hopefully, you guys cannot hear that. But balance, love, not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A relationship is one that both supports and challenges, okay? That's that Libra energy again, okay? There's a need for you to, to get ready or, or prepare, I'm hearing, okay? Because the time isn't now, but the time is right for discipline and, pre and preparation, I'm hearing, okay? Things could get, it could be really silent and things could get really busy and pick up or get really noisy. So that could, I think I got a similar message to like that previous readings. So that could be something that you guys are pushing out of, okay? Um, I feel called to leave it right there. Um, if this reading resonated with you or if you just simply enjoyed it, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, my loves, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you are cherished. Until next time.